Greetings. We left off last episode at 10 wins and zero losses. So before we get into the final 10 games, I need to show you the realization that I made that helped me in changing my 4-3-3 to what it once was before. In terms of tactics, I haven't really changed anything, but the changes come in when we look at the instructions. As usual, nothing on the keeper, nothing on the center backs. We went back to balance on both of the fullbacks and you're going to be seeing why in a second but ella always stay back cover center kiesa is back to default which also means that bajo is back to default which means Jorginho is on default as well the only thing we got left is drift wide on zola because as usual insigne is on default as well and i think the realization i made is that unfortunately as usual less is often more there's no reason for me to change it and i feel like a lot of the times if you're like me you might take a formation it's base form and if the base form works well sure you know there might be things that work well when for example when i made my bajo free roam with kiesa and get forward and drift wide a lot of people liked it but uh, eventually for me I don't know, I just always come back to the, the default and, you know, the 4-3-3 works well with just a couple of touches, the idea of the fullbacks being unbalanced, the idea of the center mids being balanced, which means they dart forward, and then the striker drifting wide to create more pockets and more passing options on the wing. Anything more than this for me might be interesting, but so far has failed, and so I think the biggest lesson in FIFA is that sometimes less is more now let's see how much more it is because our plan is to go 20 no the only question is what kind of bullshit is going to stop us the final 10 begin with a nice little gift we get another free win but again like i said last time there were a lot of games this week when uh, people left at a draw so i felt like it was a constant act of balancing but the gods of uh, ea just giving me a free win but then a couple of people leaving at a draw it was really weird it, it was really weird here we almost scored a beauty Ooh! Always have to acknowledge those plays. Unfortunately, the header wasn't good. And although we were clearly, you know, feeling ourselves, nice passing, quick passing, it kind of got a little bit tough to score. So very early on, although we were in form, like I said, it would be tough. Thank you. <laughs> what do I gotta do to score, bro? I gotta do a lot. I gotta do a lot. Now, here we were playing this man who has obviously a very good team. R9 Prime is a problem if you can afford him. I mean, this guy's disgustingly good. And then Mbappe. So, the, the combination of, of dreams and the following clips are just uh, his play style. Like, this guy would not press pass. I mean, if you press pass, either I would intercept it or, as often FIFA 22 does, like there, he would just get it back even though it was a terrible pass. So, I can see why he plays this way. I can see why he doesn't like to press the pass button. He just doesn't understand the concept of passing to an opponent who is open so he went the Mbappe route he went the R9 route and he just kept dribbling dribbling to no end eventually we lost the ball in a stupid manner and R9 being R9 is always gonna win the tough challenges in the middle bit of a weird pass here but we regain bang come on the lead what is rightfully ours Barella looking for the run Chiesa combination Please, thank you. Bit lucky there for that pass to go through, but I guess he was a bit off. I'm not sure uh, with that center back. And then again, the finishing, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nah, that's gotta be mine. And that. Bullshit. Bullshit game. It felt it felt tough, man. The fact that we were creating chance on chance on chance, and then with a couple of dribbles and wiggles, this man would. I mean, the XG says it'll seven to two, 68 minutes in. That was tough. That was tough. Twelve shots to three. That is pretty much foot champs in a nutshell. Uh, but luckily, we would uh, win this game. What a goal! What a goal! And move our issues to Zafira at 12 and 0. Oh! There's no way! Hope you guys were wearing headphones and not uh, in a public library listening to a FIFA video that uh, made a questionable moan. Bullshit goal. I apologize. And one wasn't enough. We would get lucky two times. Kind of crazy when this happens. Feels feels wrong. Feels very wrong. Two, you know. I got lucky again. Dude, holy shit. When you get these bounds, rebounds and stuff, it feels... 
the game feels downhill. This is what they feel like, huh? Imagine if I had this every game. Imagine. And as often is the case against the super team, we would uh, be in a foot champs thriller. Why would you go with your left? Shit. Again, it's the same goal we conceded the other day. This is bullshit, man. What the fuck is this? Was these dog shit goals where the shot goes through his leg and he's like crab walking backwards and he still generates the power to this slow long shot. Yeah, here we go, man. There's no way. There's actually no human way possible that just happened. There we go. Yeah. He's offside. Of course he's offside. I was going to say, what a finish. I need to see the replay for that, man. So basically, I conceded a bullshit long shot and a goal that... We need a VAR to intervene, but as usual, we have twice the XG. Nice. He's 5 for 20 in tackles, 57% shot accuracy. <laughs> Let's go, Bajo. Yeah. What the fuck is this? This is- I am gonna be mad at this. This is some bullshit. He's like moving it in. Look at Maldini's foot. He's moving it back in. Like, he was- starts to lift it. And then right here. There, bang. Let me move it out of the way. This is why this bullshit, you knew, we all knew this, there is no angle here because the foot is blocking the angle. Like, it, there is no angle. There is physically no fucking angle there. 14-0 though, and that's all that matters. We survived on to the next game. Baggio works it on the wing. He would get it back from Chiesa and then dish it to Insigne to execute the tackle perfectly. And then we would see something that never happens. Holy shit, I just won the ball. First try. What happens? What happens when I win the ball first time? You tell me what happens. That's right. I, I, I've lived in a world where two tackle tax was pretty much my religion to a point where I forgot what happens when you win the ball back first try. Zola gives us the lead in this game. We then get cut off guard here by Lewandowski's pace on uh, Chiellini. Was not expecting that. And of course, however, we would get the next goal just moments after Spina finds Zola. He cannot miss from there. Here we tried a first time pass with Zola, but uh, I guess we were off and we ended up losing the ball. Quite frustratingly at this point, there was not that much you can do. Defense against two strikers and he played that decently well all considering. Luckily though, this game was kind of crazy. Uh, we got the dodgy uh, Zola rigging his way through here. I don't know how that even happened. Yeah, more bullshit to equal the other bullshit. We're bullshitting through life right now. A little bit more bullshit here, although this goal looks kind of good. That pass into Chiesa is kind of suspect, but that's a conversation for another day. 16-0 is where we usually stop, so nothing better than a free win here. And so this is where we decided to go for 20-0. and 0. We might be in trouble. Two tackle attacks. Oh my god, that's rigged. Goal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable rigged. He 
You did all that wiggling when you could have avoided that wiggling made one pass to the right direction and that would have opened everything up and no you ha you had to sit there and wiggle for eternity how many times are you gonna win the ball back how many come on Look at this. What can I do? What can I fucking do? No fucking way. No fucking way Ben Yedder has that. Yeah, fuck you, Miki. Yeah, fuck you. This game's ass. This game's ass. This game's so ass. That is a ball. That is the worst goal I've ever scored. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, and we get kickoffed. We get fucking kickoffed! Unbelievable. Unbelievable! I can't, I can't! <sighs> oh my god! What is happening? I can't, I can't believe this fucking game. It, nothing, nothing, nothing works! He's missed that too. He's missed that too. He's missed that fucking too. I don't give a fuck if it was a 180. It's too fucking late. As I edit this video and I see another game where I have 4.9 XG to 3.9. Also remembering that a lot of his XG was fraudulent after the two tackle attacks. It reminds me, how many 20 and O's I would I have if you simply won a game by XG this year? Probably a lot more. Jokes aside though, watching that <laughs> that game back now was, uh, was, it was a trip, man. It was a trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the comedy aspect of uh, my suffering there. We would end up winning the game after that and you know what we would end up winning even the game after that one so 19 and 1 was achieved there is no difference between 19 and 1 and 20 you know but it would have been nice to complete the collection after getting a 40 you know in the 40 system getting a 30 you know in the 30 game system all we have left is a 20 game system obviously i don't play every week in league to its completion so yeah you know it's kind of on me but at the same time it is easier so i feel like we should be able to hit it especially you know to this weekend showed me that we if we survive the bullshit we'll get to the last few games with an opportunity for the 20 maybe next time i won't say it out loud that i want to get it so the ea gods don't hear me and try to intervene with some weird shit like in that game where honestly like i showed you it was just weird you know, all the bounce backs that he had when I tackled him, it was like that from minute one. And it's just one of those games. The parries went his way. They didn't go my way. So it is what it is. In the end, it was still uh, a good time on stream. And it was some laughs to be had when it was all said and done. We got some fodder packs, of course. And I guess hopefully we, we will see an Italian icon SBC of some sort. If not, I guess I'll just stare at these guys in my club or whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.